Yo, what is up my fellow music entrepreneurs? I got something really special for you today and that is how to get free auto-tune and or possibly make a banger. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So before we start, let's go ahead and destroy that like button, smash that subscribe button, and just tickle that bell notification just a little. But without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay guys, here is exactly how to get auto-tune 100% free. You're gonna wanna head over to soundtrap.com. It's an online digital audio workstation, which means you can access it from any computer, anytime, and it's 100% free. But before you sign up, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that when you sign up, you only get one week of premium, which allows you access to their Antares Auto-Tune. The good news is, in the description, I have an affiliate link that you can click on that gives you two months free premium. So when this video is over, jump on down there and click that link to get yourself some free auto-tune along with thousands of free loops over at Soundtrap.com. Alright, let's jump right into this tutorial. Everything you guys are about to see is live footage of me making a banger from start to finish. This includes finding a beat, writing lyrics, recording, mixing, auto-tuning, mastering, and all the stuff you need to know to make a banger. So obviously you're going to need a mic, um, some headphones, and a decent computer with internet access. If you don't have any of those, then this is not the video for you. So first you gotta find a beat. I like to use Young Taylor. He makes a lot of good beats. Most of his beats are bangers, so I like to use his beats. And then all you have to do is free for non-profit, so all you have to do is link him and use it for free, as long as you're not making money off of it and uploading it to iTunes and stuff like that. So I found this beat, let's give it a listen. This is the beat we're going to use, so all you want to do is copy this link, put it into YouTube to MP3, convert it, download it, click the download, once you have it, it'll pop up down here. You're going to want to go and make an account on Soundtrap.com. I'm already signed in, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up, enter the studio, blank template, and you're going to go to your downloads, you're going to drag the track in. All right, now that you've got the track in, I added a mic layer by pressing add new track, voice and microphones, and I added a grand piano. The piano is for auto-tune later on. You need to figure out what key the song is in so you have the correct auto-tune key. A lot of people don't know how to do this. It takes like three seconds. All you have to do to figure it out is press play on the beat, listen to it, and you got to find which note is the bass note. The way that you find which note is the bass note is while you're listening to it, you just hum a note, the first note that comes to mind. That will usually be the bass note, and what the, the key is in will either be major or minor based off that note. So for this particular one, it's a F sharp major. So if you listen to this, this note will work throughout the whole song. get the idea so yeah now that you have this you're gonna want to write some lyrics to it okay so I got some lyrics written and I'm about to record the chorus the chorus can be something really simple it just has to be catchy and it has to be catchy and simple it can be elaborate but it works better if it's just simple and catchy all right so now I'm gonna record it I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. What? What the fuck? Alright, so that's it for the chorus. Now you gotta add your effects. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the key that this is in will work. So, adjust volume uh, to match your beat. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. Reverb um, sounds alright, but this is more for like instruments. A lot of people mistake reverb as the thing that will make you sound better, and it does improve sound because it makes 
the notes that are on key that you sing linger. So for example, if I added the reverb to this, this is what it'll sound like. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. But there's a much better type of reverb you can do on here and it's called room. It's like the same as reverb but it's more complex. So I like to add room and church for all my choruses. I keep it from under halfway. I usually keep it here or here. I'm going to put it somewhere in between, like right there. You're going to want to turn up the treble just a little bit and turn down the volume. This is going to make your words more audible because you're turning up the treble and makes the consonants louder rather than the vowels. Bass will turn up your vowels. So if I have bass too high, it's going to sound just mumbling. So I usually turn my bass down all the way because I have a blue snowball microphone that picks up a lot of bass. So let's hear what it sounds like with that church. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. Sometimes I do a combination of church and reverb, but I don't use a lot of reverb. I keep it small. You know I That's better. Okay, so that's without any auto tune. I'm going to go ahead and save the project. And you want to make sure that you're saving it every now and then if the page crashes and it doesn't give you the option to reload your draft then you'll lose all your work that you haven't saved so right now we're going to leave this as an untitled song and then in the end we're going to name it um so yeah i figured this out earlier but it's a f sharp major scale we can go ahead and or right click auto tune and it's an f major i'm going to use either medium or light, I don't like to go heavy, it makes it sound too robotic. And this is Antari's auto-tune, it's built into the website and it's implemented very well. So now that the auto-tune is done, we're gonna go ahead and play it. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. Um, auto-tune is honestly a great tool to use when you're first starting out in music if you don't know how to sing very well. So now I'm just adding some uh, fades in and out so it doesn't sound too choppy. It picks up a little bit of white noise. Uh, there's nothing really you can do about that. I mean, there is, but it can screw up your mic and the levels that it lets you record at. It'll dip out because of this. But what you can do, um, make sure your sound quality is on high if you want to hear all the effects. It can wear on your internet. If you have low internet, I'd go medium. If you have low, you won't hear any sound effects like uh, reverb or anything like that. But you do sound setup, um, you press next, you choose what your microphone is, and you press next, and it'll tell you to sing really loud. Don't, it'll tell you to sing louder, and it'll give like a little gauge of how to sing super loud. Don't, just do the loudness that you would normally record at, and then it'll shush you, it'll say shh, and then you have to be quiet and let it pick up background noise. When it does the shush, I like to do that with my keyboard or like, like a couple of times just like quietly like just so it knows to cut out that type of noise but you can script you'd have to like reset the mic and the sound setup settings and like redo it um something really cool i found is tuner and this will tell you exactly what note so if you don't know how to find what note you're humming for the key um earlier when i said you hum one note and see if it works all you have to do is Press play and you're humming, and this will tell you close to uh, the note that you're singing. Yeah, so that's gonna tell you what note you're at. That said G flat. Let's go over here and check out G flat. This is a G flat. It's the exact same as an F sharp because F is right here, G is right here on the piano. So this is a G flat or it's an F sharp. It's the same thing. So after you get that first one sounding exactly how you want it, you're gonna to wanna to duplicate track. And then you're gonna to want to delete what you have recorded and you're gonna to wanna to turn this one down a little bit because you don't want the same volume as this one. This is gonna be, you're gonna re-record your chorus and you're gonna re-auto tune it and you're gonna sing it a little bit different. What that's gonna do is it's gonna add a Post Malone type harmony effect that you can add. I'm going to go ahead and record that right away and I'll show you what it sounds like. We're back. I just recorded the alternate chorus and this is what it sounds like without. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. This is what it
what it sounds like together. It's not going to sound perfect yet because we have to do a couple things, but I want to let you hear what it sounds like so you know that we need to fix it a little. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. So what we need to do is to turn it down just a bit. We don't want them at the same volume because it creates a robotic noise in our singing. It sounds like it's a robot because this this website unfortunately doesn't do stereo too well unless you manually do it. So we're going to go ahead and pan this over to the left a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of reverb just because since it's in the left, we don't want it to be too loud. It's louder in the left ear since it's not having to give sound to both ears. It's more to one. So it's going to be a little bit louder. So we turn down the volume a bit more and then add some reverb just to add some echo back into the right ear so it doesn't feel too empty. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. Okay, so we're going to do one more of these tracks. First, let's name this one Left Ear Chorus. And we're going to name the top one Mid Chorus. That way we know how it's positioned in the ears. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this track. Name this one Right Ear Chorus. Go ahead and pan this over to the right. We're going to re-record it in a different way, maybe a little bit higher this time. Um, something I like to do is I sing it really high, and then I'll select it. Um, I'll auto-tune it first, and then I'll do change pitch, and I'll do minus 12. So um, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you what it sounds like. Basically, you're singing it an octave higher, and then dropping it back down digitally, and it makes it sound kind of cool. So we're back. I recorded the right ear chorus, the higher one. And I put the pan back to normal so you can hear what it sounds like better. This is what it sounds like just for the high version. I just recorded it with the high voice and added a bit more reverb because with the high voice, it sounds kind of cringy if you don't know how to sing very high. Um, I'm not too good at it. I'm okay at it. We add a little reverb to mask it with uh, the echo. This is what it sounds like. You know I guess so. mess ups I had to go in and re-record um, certain notes that were not auto-tuned correctly because I sang them wrong so once you take this pan it over to the right add a little bit more reverb like I did for high singing and this is what it would sound like before the lowered pitch like I said earlier so this is what it sound like all together you know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know so we're going to take this, I'm going to duplicate it because I don't know if this is how I want it to sound. Um, if I want this high part or if I want the thing I'm about to show you. But basically we're going to see which one sounds better. This is a really cool effect. Um, I used this in my song, Ain't Worried About Nothing, in the chorus. I'll play a little clip of it here. You do you when I will go to me. At the top is where I need to be. I see the life they live and I need it. All the others acted, you can see it All the eyes are on me, now I feel it If you didn't get the memo, I'll repeat it So this is what it's going to sound like um, by itself with the negative 12 on the pitch So that's what it's going to sound like. It sounds a little bit muffled. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the treble just a little bit. Show you what it sounds like. More treble, it makes it more clear like I was saying earlier. Sounds pretty good. Let's see what it sounds like. Without the high one I did earlier, this is going to be just the lowered. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. I don't know if I like how that sounds. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. You know I get so lonely. 
Also, um, something that happens when you lower it, it's changing the audio wave file. So it might move it a little bit based on the stretching of the audio. You might have to go in and rearrange where it is so it lines up with the other one because it was lined up before. If we zoom in and look at this one versus this one, before and after, you can see it's shifted to the right a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and realign that just by eye as best we can. Um, I definitely like the sound that's coming out. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go mid pan. Uh, we're going to lower treble, turn up the reverb, and lower the volume. What this is going to do is this is no longer going to be a right ear. This is going to be a mid low which high because it's technically not lower than this one. It's technically at the same note. It just sounds different because um, it's what you can call throat length. Basically, like, you can say a note like, oh. Go ahead and sing that with a deeper open throat. And it's the same note, it's just, it's music theory, never mind. Just forget it, All right? Just listen to my music. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. Alright, so that's how we're going to keep that, and then go ahead and write a verse. I'm going to copy paste the chorus over to here again, where the chorus starts again. Then you'll have another verse, and your song will be finished. Go ahead and upload that to SoundCloud. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I think I'll be making more videos. I might be doing some live streams while I'm making music. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and hit the subscribe. Peace. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. You know I get so lonely when you act like you don't know me. What's the problem? Do you even want to solve it? Is it just for sure? Tell me, are you all in? I don't know what's really going on with you.